What's that? I don't look autistic? Look, I don't blame you. A lot of doctors missed it. I don't mean funny, but everyone here looks pretty normal. Except this kid who's like eating a foot or his hand or something. <laughs> I don't look like Rain Man or Sheldon Cooper, but let me tell you something. The diagnostic criteria that exists was based off a bunch of dudes and little to no chicks. Well, there you have it, guys. If you've ever been misdiagnosed with anything or not diagnosed with something, it's because the doctor was a massive virgin and he got no bitches. Which means a lot of people get misdiagnosed. BPD, depression, anxiety, one of those who suppose you never seen autism look like me. Clear brown femme, non-binary, but I suggest that you get with the times. It's a spectrum, darling, not a spectrum. Oh boy, Eminem's just deleted his Instagram account and he has been awfully quiet since this rap came out. Hey, look, I, I struggle with depression and anxiety, but do you think when I got diagnosed by a doctor, I asked him to see his relationship status and be like, oh, I see you're single. You clearly have no idea what you're talking about. Here we have a video of someone who is masking versus not masking. So let's check it out. I am an addict, but I get paid to indulge in my habit. It's all an illusion. I'm wearing makeup. I'm wearing makeup, 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 makeup. Yo, can we just appreciate that dank vape cloud at the start? That, that was tight. That really helped get your point across whatever you were trying to do. My autism makes me sexy. Do you know what, guys? I, I don't really even know what to say about this because what do you want me to say? I'm losing brain cells. I, I Jesus Christ. Even in the picture, it says no service, just like this person's brain. I've made videos on this before, and they actually try to take down my videos and stop me from talking about it. But here I am, baby. I'm back again, talking about people who just fake having mental illnesses for clout, I guess. Like I said, I struggle with depression. Do you think I'm over here like, hey, I'm having a great time? Being really sad all the time. Like, I often think humanity just kind of sucks, but, but then I realize, actually, it's worse than I think it is because you have people out here faking this type of stuff when real people actually are dealing with this stuff every day and it must be miserable. So grab some popcorn, eat a table. Let's get into this. Right, look, I'm no doctor, but clearly if you walk like you've got like an itchy ass crack, then apparently you are autistic. It's not because you're a bimbo, like I'm not body shaming or anything like that. It's it's because you're autistic. Bruh. Duh. Like, how how do you not think of that, you idiot? Mom was telling me that, uh, shit, 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 shit. Spaghetti. Her life, though, like. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. It's funny how their tics stop when something bad happens. Does anyone else think that's kind of weird? It's actually really sad that people do this. Like, what, what are you doing? When I didn't think humanity could stoop any lower, this person proved me wrong. Can you imagine walking into your kid's room and you just see them doing this, or they ask to show you their TikToks? And it's just this, Jesus Christ. The funny thing about DID trolls is that they wouldn't do half the spaghetti they would do if we could switch to what we look like in the headspace. Just the caption for this is, transforms into a YouTuber alter and slowly makes my way towards you menacingly. Have you guys seen what I look like? Can you imagine splitting into me? Here's a picture of me with a squirrel. Look at how terrifying I am. You trolls, ooh, you... You better run, because I'm, I'm coming. Like, there's one here called Fate Syndrome. And honestly, the, the list of symptoms just goes on and on. And one of them is unending hunger. What? Un unending hunger. So what? You get hungry and you've got some sort of <laughs> mental illness. But it, but it just never goes away. You could clear out a McDonald's, but because you have Fate Syndrome, you have unending hunger. Like, literally, just look at the list of things that is in this syndrome. It's insane. I don't know if it's like a coping mechanism, but one of the things that they have is carry a small first aid kit. Like, bruh, if I'm in a medical emergency, I don't want some Gen Z faking autistic kid 
running at me with a knife saying, we're going to have to take out your appendix. I'll be like, bruh, I've got a headache. Get away from me. You've got to love the comment at the end there where it, this, someone just says, this isn't ADHD, bruh. It's just having fun. <laughs> Man, I'm going to feel bad for when I eventually have kids because honestly, I'm going to leave them at school. They're going to pick up a stick, think it's a weapon, and someone's going to be like, yeah, he's definitely on the spectrum. For having fun. It, it seems by just having fun with anything nowadays, it, it, you're just on the spectrum for something. It just feels like you can't even be a kid anymore without having something wrong with you to explain why you're doing what you're doing. Morning, babe. Oh. I'm making a call for your name, you want one? I'll make you one anyway. So let me get this straight. The correlation here is that if you are tired in the morning, you yeah. have autism. I mean, what are these people smoking? Like, how dumb can you be? Like, if you guys saw me in the morning, it'd be kind of weird if you did. I'd be like, why are you here? If you saw how out of it I was in the morning, you'd think I had Down syndrome. Like, seriously. Logically, I just cannot get my head around how people honestly fake having this type of thing. Like, most people are going to look back when they're younger and cringe at things they've said to people or things that they've done. These people are going to be cringing and looking back at the time they pretended to have a mental illness. Like, that is actually just cringe. That is the actual cringe attack right there. Like, what are these people doing? Played to be why Judaism seems to be the most autistic religion. Bro, what? What are you talking about? I, I'm not going to watch a video of someone who is saying being Jewish and part of the Judaism religion is the most autistic religion. Oil addiction disorder. Oil addiction disorder is the addiction to eating oil, be it on its own or with foods. Yeah, because I'm going to drink a bottle of oil because I have a disorder. Yeah, that's not going to kill me. Folks might add lots of salt on their food, eat food with lots of oil on them, or that have a strong oil taste or texture to them. Bruh, these people are making up disorders to justify them being unhealthy. That, that's straight up what it is. I mean, just whatever you do, don't let the American government know you have this disorder. She knows colors, so she is autistic. POV, you're autistic and casually just got the highest score on TikTok. What even is this game? How does this have 1.2 million likes? By guessing a color, you're autistic now, apparently. Can anyone explain the logic behind this? That's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out and you can join the Game of Virgin Army. I hope you all have some safe diagnosis out there and I will see you all next time.